Hi, we are going to show you how to bind Avionic RCB OS 10 with its receiver. Here we have got the Avionic RCB OS 10. We got the RCB OS 10 receiver. Along we have got additional uh, ESC battery and a servo for the testing. So we'll show you what is the how the servo will be when the when there is no when the transmitter is not binded with the receiver there's an led that will indicate the binding procedure uh, pr binding status of the receiver now we are going to connect the esc with the receiver as you can see we have uh, make sure you connect up connect the signal positive and negative prop correctly and we are going to co connect the servo to channel 1 for testing as you can see I made the connection now I am going to power up the receiver as you can see here there is an LED light blinking so the blinking indicates that the transmitter and the receiver is not binded and I will just show you this so I got it channel 1 channel 1 is actually the Aileron, as you can see, there is no response in the serve. So, I will be disconnecting, powering off the receiver. And now we have the transmitter. Transmitter, you will have to select the binding option. Go into the menu section and you will see model settings. You will have to go into model settings. You get an option called as bind and RF. So you can just press enter and go into this. And as you can see, there's an option here as protocol. Here you can actually bind your RCB OS 10 as well as an RCB 6i receiver also. So I'm going to change the protocol to RCB OS 10 and enter. Once you're done, Make sure you save the configuration. If you don't save, then it will not get connected to RCB OS 10. As once you select the protocol, go up and save RF configure. Press enter. Now the transmitter is configured to RCB OS 10. Now you can bind your RCB OS 10 with the RCB OS 10 receiver. And during the binding procedure, when I activate the binding, you get a window of 10 seconds. In that 10 seconds, you'll have to buy, uh, bind the trans receiver to the transmitter. I'll just show you well, as soon as I press enter and after 10 seconds, you can actually see the page comes back to its, I press the enter and you can see the binding is process is getting done. This lasts only for 10 seconds. And as, as you can see, after 10 seconds, the page came back to the bind and RF page. So you only got 10 seconds window for the binding. So the, for the binding, once you activate the binding there, on the receiver, you can see a bind return. And just below that, there's a button. Right? This is a small black button. You can, when I'm pressing the button, you can actually hear the button. So you'll have to press and hold of it. So now, what we are going to do is, I'll just put the transmitter into bind mode, power up the ESC, press hold of it until the red light becomes constant. As you can see, after three, four seconds, the LED which was blinking now has comes to a constant glow. Now the transmitter is binded with the receiver. For the testing, we have the servo connected to channel 1 and let's see as you can see the servo is responding to the transmitter control so this is easy procedure for the binding of rcb os 10 transmitter with the rcb os 10 receiver thank you